morning, everyone. Virgo Triad here. It is July 12th, 2018. And we're going to break up the monotony a little bit today with um, a video that is about the best short-term investments for 2018. Now, for those of you that have been listening to me for a little bit now, you guys are aware that my background is in finance. One of the things that I want to make sure that I'm throwing in here every once in a while to break things up with investigating scams and exposing con artists and this type of thing is making sure that there's some additional help out there uh, with regards to finances and debt. I recognize that one of the reason, reasons why we have such an issue going on with these um, TDA scams and that sort of thing is because people are finding themselves to be desperate uh, to get out of debt and also they're desperate to find a way to make additional money um, or invest additional money to make it work for them in a positive and passive manner. Um, because of the fact that there's not a lot of information out there, I'm going to provide you with eight different ways that you can use your money anywhere from a thousand dollars all the way up to a hundred thousand dollars or even more uh, in a short-term investment whereby you're making a decent return on uh, as far as a profit but you're also not tying up your funds that you may need uh, for any length of time for any long length of time like you would in a normal uh, investment scenario. So this is going to be a short list of eight of the best short-term investments for 2018, um, which we desperately need right now because as everybody knows, the stock market has been a bit wonky. We're dealing with um, issues in the stock market on and off on a day-to-day -day basis where it is not necessarily stable. And as a result of the risk factor of that, we need, some, we need to look at some other ways that are maybe a little less risky and maybe have um, a little more security involved with them. So moving forward, starting with number one. We're gonna start with number one, peer-to-peer -peer lending. And the reason that I've got Lending Club up there is because it happens to be the largest and the most respected and has proven itself to have the least risk involved peer-to-peer -peer lending platform. There will be a link in the description of where you can uh, go on to Lending Club and take a look at their regulations. Now, peer-to-peer -peer lending websites allow investors to broaden their investment portfolio by spreading out the investments and reducing the risk. These websites work as tools to connect investors to qualified consumers in need of a loan and allow investors to become the bank, providing a small percentage of multiple borrowers' loans. Investors purchase notes and receive a monthly income in the form of loan repayment and interest. In the end, this can easily be a win-win for everyone involved. One such company, Lending Club, sets the interest rate on notes based on specific credit criteria. And since they only accept desirable borrowers, they dramatically reduce the risk for default and potential losses for the lenders. Lenders may start out small and increase the amount of money that they are willing to lend as their confidence in the company grows. Lending Club offers loans from a few hundred dollars to over $10,000. How much you should invest depends on the level of risk you're comfortable with as well as your investment timeline. All right, guys, so this peer-to-peer -peer lending platform allows you to invest in short-term loans. It allows you to invest in portfolios that are anyway, anywhere from A, paper, to C, paper. And I'm going to go ahead and talk to you a little bit about that paper so you understand better. Obviously, the lower down the scale the paper, the portfolio goes, the underwriter writes the paper as A, B, or C. A paper is paper with people that have credit scores that would be considered triple A credit. The risk is very low in those cases and as a result the percentage of interest rate paid out to you as the lender is going to be much lower than B or C portfolio paper. When we're dealing with B and C portfolio paper we're talking about people that have a credit score somewhere between uh, 650, 675, may have some slow pays, and may even have some scenarios where they defaulted in the past. As a result, the risk factor goes up for you as the lender. 
And as a result of that, even though they have fairly decent credit, they may have had some issues and the risk factor being higher allows you to collect more in the form of interest rates. It's totally up to you with regards to what you're willing to risk. So take a look at the portfolios and how the peer-to-peer -peer lending platform works for lenders. I think you will find that this is something that gives you the highest uh, percentage of returns on a short-term investment. Moving on to number two. Number two, online savings accounts. Now, this is gonna be a big drop from peer-to-peer -peer lending returns. And the reason I've got this on here as number two is very simple. There are many people, no matter how small of an amount they choose to invest, that are not willing to take any risk at all. And as a result of taking no risk, your returns are going to be small. But if you want to guarantee that your investment will not lose any money, while at the same time generating a little bit of a return, the online high yield savings accounts are a great fit for that goal. In using a savings account for short term investing, you'll get the following. Number one, a guarantee to never lose principal on your investment as long as you keep your total deposit at the bank below the FDIC's coverage of $250,000. Deposit your money and walk away knowing that it will be there when you're ready to cash out. Number two, a small risk-free return on your investment. Current interest rates are very low right now, and those low returns mean you won't earn a lot of interest for the time being. For now, it won't be enough to keep up with inflation. However, online saving accounts do offer a risk-free return you will never have to lose sleep over. Number three, high liquidity. Most of the high yield online banks allow six withdrawals per month from savings accounts. In other words, you can generally cash out of your funds at any time without much hassle or expense involved. Meanwhile, you won't have to worry about forking over part of your profits to sell your investments since it's, a safe, since it's safely tucked away in a low risk savings account. Some people will smirk at this and they'll say, hey, I can go to my local uh, credit union and, and you know get a savings account. Everybody knows about that. What you may not know is that the online savings accounts right now are actually competing with the banks and credit unions. They're slightly higher than most of your walk-in banks and credit unions are. You may want to take a look at them there are a few that offer some pretty good returns. Moving on to number three. Number three, a Roth IRA. You're probably thinking that a Roth IRA is not an investment, right? Trust me, I totally get that. But let me explain why one of my favorite retirement accounts also can work as a short-term investment account. With all other types of retirement accounts from 401ks to traditional IRAs, you get hit with an early withdrawal penalty and income tax if you withdraw funds before you retire. The Roth IRA's different. Since you fund your Roth with after-tax income, you're free to withdraw any contributions, not earnings on these contributions, at any time you want. It isn't recommended because you would much rather the money stay invested, but it does give you the option to set money aside for retirement now, but withdraw it if times get tough. I have seen far too many people not save enough for retirement and pay heavily for it in their later years. Funding your Roth IRA allows you to get huge, a huge head start on this. In using a Roth IRA for short-term investing, you will get number one, the ability to withdraw funds Transfers take a few days, and you may have to sell investments at inopportune times in order to cash out. However, the fact that you can take your actual contributions out without a penalty does stand out as, huge, as a huge benefit. Number two, potentially higher rates of return. With a Roth IRA, you get access to other types of investments like mutual funds, ETFs, and bonds to earn a higher rate of return. If the market does well enough, while dollars are invested, you can secure healthy returns and profits from your investment. Number four, money market accounts. 
Money markets are currently paying a very close APY to one-year CDs. Investors familiar with the discipline of owning a CD can earn a similar return with a money market, market account and still have immediate access to their funds. Money market accounts provide depositors with ATM cards, checks, and deposit slips. Money market accounts are based on the account balance, not the length of time you invest your money. When CD rates begin to rise, clients can move their money from the money market without paying a penalty for early withdrawal. All of these factors combined are why many people consider money market accounts as a type of quote unquote savings account on steroids. While there isn't much risk involved, you can potentially secure a higher rate of return. If you're looking for an online bank that does money market accounts and has a really good interest rate right now, take a look at Everbank. Number five, short-term bond funds and ETFs. Short-term bond funds are products that are usually only managed by a professional financial advisor. Bonds are not as stable as money markets, but they do offer the potential to earn a higher yield. These bonds are a product of the market and will pay out according to the market's current condition and fluctuating monthly payments. Short-term bonds usually mature, mature in terms within two years or less, which can make them an ideal choice for investors with that type of timeline. Now, just so that you guys are aware, I'm going to add a side note to this. There's three different types that you need to take a look at. So, pay very close attention if you start researching short-term bond funds and ETFs. I want to make sure that you guys know that there's more than just one type, and you need to take a look at them and make a decision based on your personal circumstances. Number six, five-year treasury inflation-protected securities. Treasury Inflation Protected Securities, also known as TIPS, are government bonds that are indexed to inflation. The interest rate on TIPS is fixed, but the underlying value of the securities rises with inflation as measured through the Consumer Price Index. You might only get 0.5% in interest paid semi-annually, but over five years the value of the bond might increase to 2.5% per year. The end result is, at the end of the term, your initial investment will be worth as much as it was when you first invested. However, you will earn a small bit of interest on top of that. You can buy tips directly from the government at treasurydirect.gov. However, due to tips interest being taxable, most investors prefer to invest in a tips ETF or mutual fund. To purchase shares of an ETF or mutual fund, you will need a brokerage account. Again, um, Scott Trader, E-Trade, they are good places to start if you want to open a new brokerage account. Number seven, municipal bonds and corporate bonds. Municipal bonds are slightly more risky than tips and other treasury investments, yet a majority of municipalities do not default on their bonds. The more significant risk is the interest rate risk. In a lower interest rate environment, if rates rise in the marketplace, the value of the bond decreases to compensate. If you could get 4% on a municipal bond today, that's a great return. But if rates go up and your bond loses 6% of its value, you're suddenly on the losing side of the equation. However, the decrease in the value of the bond only impacts you if you sell before its maturity. If you hold the bond to maturity, you will get 100% of your initial investment back plus the interest yielded to you. If you're looking for short-term investments, you could buy a bond from someone else that was closer to the maturity date through, the ma through a major broker firm. Likewise, corporate bonds are even more risky than municipals and treasury bonds because they are not backed by state, local, or federal government. As always, increased risk can mean an increase in your rate of return. The same interest rate risk issue applies to corporate bonds holding to maturity will eliminate this one piece of risk. Number eight, pay off high interest debt. If you're looking for a great return on your investment folks, you need to pay off your high interest debt. If you have a credit card with a 15% interest rate carrying a $10,000 balance, 
you have an opportunity for a great return on your investment. Because if you pay off that debt, it's like getting 15% return on $10,000. Now, you have no idea how many people come and say, hey, I have $25,000, I would like to invest in something short term that I'll get a high return on, but yet they're swimming in credit card debt. Please, take notice to number eight. It's probably the most important one on this list. If you really want a great return on your investment, you need to pay off those high interest rate debts, those credit cards that are 15, 16, 18, 21%. Those are the ones that are gonna give you the biggest return and on top of everything else, you will clear up your credit profile to a point where you might be able to actually get low interest rate refinancing on your mortgages, they're at an all-time low right now. Um, you know, there's a ton of other things that you can do if you clear some of the debt and your debt to income ratio up on your credit report. All right, you guys, I hope that this helped answer some questions for some people that were looking for some ways to make some short-term investments work for them. If anybody has any questions or comments, please feel free to leave it in the description or to leave it in the comment section or to email me at virgotriad at protonmail.com. Everybody have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.